Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, you think this is tennis string, guys, don't you? Well, it's not. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so you saw me string Coach Andrew's racket last time with fish line, right? And Coach Chris loved it. Uh, Andrew didn't hate it, and I thought it wasn't bad. Um, but I played with it before. So uh, this time I thought, well, fish lines is, is kind of elastic, right? So I decided to use weed whacker line. Okay, what do they call this? Trimmer line. So this, if you guys don't know, and you live in a city somewhere, um, you feed this into a weed whacker, and this thing wax your weeds or, you know, wax the grass, right? That basically trims it. You live in a condo, you don't need to do this stuff, okay? You live in the verbs, you know what this is, okay? So I originally ordered um, a square one thinking that it could be like hybrid G, like a, like a square string, uh, but I couldn't get the string in the hole because it was square and it was thick. So that went out the window. Uh, so I got the round one this time, and this is the round one. Um, it's 0.065 inches, which is 1.65 millimeters. Okay, I got this off of Amazon for like $7.99. Uh, so it's round uh, for residential use, it says. Now, why are there different shapes? Why are there different... Um, you know, sizes, uh, kind of like strings. The thicker it is, the longer it lasts until you whack that piece of rock and then it breaks off, right? So the round one, as I found out after doing some research, uh, it's supposed to whack grass. So it's not for heavy duty use, not for that thick weed that you have in the back, not the type you smoke, but the weeds, okay? The stuff you don't want, all right? That is what the shaped ones are for. The square, the diamonds, the stars, right? They got edges on them, so they whack the, the tougher weeds. The circle like this is more for grass, so lighter jobs, uh, just to kind of trim your grass out, okay? So I'm stringing Coach Andrew's racket with this stuff, I actually just finished it. Um, I strung it at 58 pounds. It actually wasn't that hard to string. Uh, it did pull back quite a bit uh, when I was pulling it on the head. So I'm guessing there's a lot of elasticity in this thing, even though it's weed whacker and really shouldn't have a lot of, a lot of elasticity. Um, you would think that fish line would definitely have a lot of elasticity because if you're trying to wheel in a marlin or a shark or something like that right it's got to have to give a little bit or else it'll snap right so you would think this will have zero elasticity so we're going to have to see how it's going to play i strung it at 58 pounds um just because i think it'll be super loose by the time i get on the court so i'm kind of uh you know adding that in there just to make sure that by the time we get on the court, it's not 30 pounds. Um, so this is made out of polyester, I believe, just like the string that you would buy. Uh, oh, it says nylon. This is a nylon. feels like polyester, but it's actually nylon. It actually says nylon right there. But it feels like polyester and it slides just like polyester. So this might feel like cheap, cheap, cheap nylon that you can get for like two bucks. Remember back in the day, Prince nylon for $2? I wonder if this is just like that. Uh, kind of like trash garbage stuff, but let's see, okay? So we're gonna take the racket out uh, to the court with my man, Coach Andrew, and my man, Coach Chris. Uh, I'll bet Coach Chris is gonna like this because he liked everything in the beginning. All right, we'll see you on the court. All right, guys, so we're on the court. New, great, supposedly wonderful string. 
that we're going to have Coach Andrew Gu and Coach Chris try right now for you. All right, guys, so we just got off the court using this super wonderful, fantastic string that we don't know about, but I got. So, Coach Goo, first impressions. Um, first impressions, um, they come off the string really fast. They're definitely, they don't pocket. Um, so, if you're looking for a lot of pop and really fast response, this will be it. Um, it's something. <laughs> it's something. Uh, I mean, if you want to try it, go ahead. But I wouldn't recommend people to play it recreationally or um, even on the pro level or collegiate level. So, I mean, it's a fun thing to do, but I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. Coach, Coach Chris, what did you think of that? Uh, I didn't like it at all. I thought this string didn't pocket well, and I couldn't really figure out uh, how to control like it was it was there was like a lot of power it sprayed a lot but for me i just didn't really feel like this was the string that this string is like worthwhile like spending a little bit more time on so short and, sim short and simple all right guys so i guess the super wonderful string is a is a two thumbs down so guys you guys were playing with trim wire weed whacker it's stuff that people whack grass with so right there all right so it's about a 14 gauge string that i strung at 58 pounds now what do you think of it makes sense <laughs> <laughs> makes sense um i mean it's playable but i wouldn't recommend it to anyone now, honestly i would say if you're looking for a super durable string that plays like crap you try this stuff Right? I'm actually very surprised Coach Chris didn't say, Oh, I love this string. I hate it. And then say later, Oh, I hate this string. You know, but you hated it. So, hey, it was bad. What can I say? It, it was, was bad. It was definitely not good. It was not good. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's string. I mean, if you're looking for a super durable string, like if you break strings like there's no tomorrow, maybe try something like this because strings, tennis strings, don't come this thick. So, if you have to go this far, give it a shot. Cause I got the string in and I was act it was actually pretty easy to string. I was pretty shocked at that. That fish lot that fish wire, that fish line that I put in last time, man, it took me an hour and a half to get that sucker in. This one only took me like 30 minutes. So if you're desperate and you got some of this stuff laying in the garage, right? String your racket with it, right? Give it a shot. It ain't gonna be that bad. Stop shaking your head. Don't do it. Don't do I wouldn't it. do it. <laughs> You can listen to whatever you said. All right, all right. I feel sorry for the racket. Okay. All my right. racket, too. That's my racket. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Sorry, racket. It's okay. okay. All right, guys. I uh, want to thank Coach Goo for, uh, you know, playing with me today and hanging out and messing around with the weed whacker, you know? Coach Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. Coach Chris is back on Instagram just for your... Uh, fulfillment okay uh, where can we find you coach Chris 
C-B-C-H-I-N, tennis. Come check me out there. <laughs> All right. So whatever he said. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.